This is Sonic, and you're watching JD Frank 20. All right, here's a funny article right here. Shout outs to Harley right here. Now this is now why now why is someone selling illegal copies of Sonic Prime DVDs on ETSY? I have no idea what this vendor is. I don't go to ETSY again. You know, it's one of those situations where it's not if it's not credible like Amazon or eBay. But then again, eBay has their own uh, issues when it comes to uh, price gouging. That's why I don't like using eBay that much. Yeah, apparently someone is selling uh, a copy of Sonic Prime, a physical copy, uh, and it's for only available for twenty-three pounds and forty cents, which in today's standards is around close to twenty-three dollars here in the states. Considering the fact that the U.S. dollar is actually more stronger than the British pound, gee, fancy that! This is funny, actually, right here. And here's an image right here if you're looking at it. And of course, here is a back image also, and this is funny. On the back image, didn't even try. I'm going to be perfectly honest, when I first saw this, I laughed my ass off, because first of all, who even who even uses DVDs anymore in 2023? But second of all, when you look when you look at the box art in the back, you realize, oh, they didn't even try, it looks kind of lazy, they put no effort into this. You know, if they would have made the box art look cool, I honestly would have been tempted just to buy it, because the box art looks pretty dope. It, it's not really worth, you know, 23 bucks, but at the end of the day, fuck it, I'll buy it and just say, well, I own something of Sonic Prime. I understand some people want to do this just because it, for preservation's sake. Because again, you know, it's Netflix. Netflix always makes, you know, some really dumb decisions here and there. Again, I was not a big fan of Sega making that deal with Netflix when uh, a few years back when it was announced. But then again, Paramount Plus didn't exist back then. And the streaming wars really didn't take it to full full swing until around 2020-ish or 2021 when you had other networks having their own streaming platforms and why things are the way they are today. But yeah, overall, I mean, the box art, again, if they would have put more effort, I would have just been tempted to buy it. It looks all right here and there, but again, isn't this technically pirating? Well, yes, it's pirating, but in a way, you know, I, I just want to know who would be dumb enough to actually buy this. Seriously, like, are people really that stupid to actually buy this? Yes, I even left a tweet right here. You know, like, in all seriousness, like, if if people are really that desperate for physical copies of of Sonic Prime, like, you gotta get your priorities intact. In Look, Netflix is only gonna cost you minimum $7 a month, and you get all that content. Like, seriously, if you're at a point where you can't even spend $7 a month minimum for Netflix, then you have no business even watching these kind of shows. I am sorry. It is the same thing with video gaming. If you can't shell out $60 or more, you have no business even gaming to begin with. I can't stand people that that argue where they can't even afford a game that's even close to 40 bucks, but yet there's other games out there that charge us $120 with the season passes, the Legends Edition, all, that, all the nooks and crannies you like. So again, why are people arguing about that? Again, I apologize I go on that tangent. I do that a lot, but I don't do second takes here. So let me know what y'all you you all think about this. Like, do you like the box art? You know, would you consider getting uh, this? Now, I did hear that the first episode was actually filmed off the Roblox uh, simulator, which looks fucking weird. And then somebody uh, put their thumb in the way or some shit like that to kind of ruin the experience. So the episodes are not even well pirated. You know, it's not a situ it's not a situation where the episodes are fluid or anything like that. You're not going to get no 4K visuals or anything like that. Hell, this reminds me back in the days when you went, went uh when you went to Tijuana and you bought those pirated DVDs. A lot of them are pretty solid, not gonna lie. Shit, back when I bought pirated DVDs, some of them being pay-per-views for wrestling events, I got like five of them for like three dollars back in the day, and they did a way better job of that. Audio quality was perfect. Uh the visuals were not really crisp, but the visuals were still good. It's like going from uh 1080p all the way to 360p or 480p if that makes any sense uh just going by analogy but overall the product is uh as long as the audio is perfect and it's crisp that's all that matters i can hear everything perfectly there's no audio butchering or shit like that everything is recorded well that's what i'm going at with this but the fact this person at the the nerves are charging 23 bucks like wow I'm actually hoping people are not dumb enough to buy stuff like this but then again at the same time you know what you do whatever you want with your money because if people want to buy shit like this and support it, go ahead. You're condoning piracy, 
And at the end of the day, I have no sympathy for people like uh, like that. Let me know what y'all think about this, and let's have fun with this fucking article. Have a good day.